doctor? Sorry I'm late. I'm usually early, but the um, traffic was just... I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Linda. I'm Tem. Your secretary needed the morning off. She didn't tell you I was coming? Yes, of course, yeah. Is there anything I need to know? I've never worked for a psychiatrist before, sir. Oh, doctor. I beg your pardon? Doctor, not sir, not mister, just doctor. Of course, doctor. to have my appointment schedule in front of me. Who's my 11 o'clock? Of course. Here it is. He's a new patient. Yeah. Uh, and what's his condition? According to the notes here, he suffers from grandiose delusions, occupational and referential. Anything else? Yes. It says here he thinks he's a psychiatrist. They're in your top pocket. Can I help you? Yes, I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm Dr. Nathan Klein, and you are? I'm Dr. Terry Phillips. I believe you have an appointment with me at 11 o'clock. Oh, well, I'm sorry I'm late. The traffic was a nightmare. No, 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 not at all. You're right on time. Well, excellent. I try never to keep a patient waiting. Oh, except I'm not a patient waiting, am I? I'm simply waiting patiently. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I see. Uh, although in future, the patients usually wait outside until they're called in. Yes, I know. It seems in this case the patient simply let himself in, hasn't he? I can see that. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. You'll know for next time. Shall we get started? Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, okay. So. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, it seems I need to clarify a few things for you, Mr. Klein. Dr. Klein? It's actually precisely what I'm talking about. Um, so this is your appointment, not mine. What do you mean? Well, I don't know where you think you are, but this is my office. I think you're a little bit confused. Um, but not to worry. We'll sort this out. Donna! Excuse me, what are you doing? Won't be a second. Donna? Um, do you mean Linda? No, I mean Donna. Who's this? Linda. Uh, Mr. Klein, who's Donna? D she's my secretary. I am your secretary. Oh, Donna, thank God. Some strange woman was just playing with the phones. Please tell the patients to... Wait quietly and don't let them behind the desk. Some crazies in here. Uh, Donna, my 11 o'clock. What's his condition? I just told you. He thinks he's a psychiatrist. Yes, I see. Thank you, Donna. Um, I'm Let's try this again, shall we? You are. I'm Dr. Terry Phillips. And let me guess, you're a doctor of psychiatry? That's right. Oh, what a coincidence. I, too, am a psychiatrist. No. No, no, no. No, you're Nathan Klein. Dr. Nathan no, Klein. Mr. Nathan Klein. The only psychiatrist in this room is me. Well, if that's true, Mr. Phillips, what are you doing in my office? It's Dr. Phillips, and we've been over this. This is my office. It's my doctorate on the wall, my secretary outside. Donna is my secretary. No, there is no Donna. <laughs> Do you see that? You've made her up. She's a figment of your imagination. The sooner you can accept all of this, the sooner I can help you. Shall we sit? Oh, oh, whoops. <laughs> yes, that's your... See the mistake secret. you've made? Well, if be, uh, I see what's happening here. To... Uh, I have a proposal for you, Mr. Phillips. Yes? If you sit in that chair, I will concede for the purposes of this session that you are indeed a psychiatrist. And that you're the patient. Well, I don't think it's healthy for a doctor to pretend to be a patient for a patient who thinks they're a doctor. Wouldn't you agree? I would, except you're not a doctor talking to his patient. You're my patient who thinks he's a doctor talking to a patient who happens to be a doctor indulging the delusions of a patient who thinks he's a doctor. Is that clear? Mm-hmm. So you'll sit in this chair? Fine. But this doesn't mean that you are a psychiatrist or, or that I am the patient. Of course not. Okay, no. we're just... As long as we're clear. No. Now... As your psychiatrist. No, what I've... did I just say? You're not a psychiatrist. I am a psychiatrist. No, you're not. <clears throat> I am. Um... 
So, uh, so, <laughs> what brings you here today? My job. Oh, do you work in the building? Yeah, this isn't working. Oh, no, no, I no, think no, 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 sorry, I, I see what the problem is. No, the problem is that you seem to be suffering from a severe personality disorder that has you convinced that you're a psychiatrist. Yes, yeah, interesting. Now, see, what you're doing there is known as displacement. Uh, essentially, what yes, that means... I know means... what displacement is. Thank you, Mr. Klein. Dr. Klein. Enough! <clears throat> it's just... It's unbelievable. This delusion is clearly deeply rooted in the psyche. And acknowledging that is the first step towards your recovery. That's not what I meant. No, I was referring to... <clears throat> Where are you going? I would like to conduct a simple word association test with you, if that's all right. Uh, that's fine. We can start there if you like. Do you know how they work? Yes, of course. I'll walk you through it. Where did I put my glasses? I... Your top pocket. Oh, <laughs> yes, you said that before. Now, I will say a word, and I want you to say the first word that pops into your head. So, um, for instance, let's start with a simple one. Apples. Yes, I'm familiar with how it works. I'll start things off, shall it I? It might be easier if we make the responses a single word. Mm -hmm. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable. Let's begin. Home. Interesting. Okay. Summer. Nope, just one response per word. That's right. Okay. Work. Interesting. Try not to repeat words you've already said. Yes, I won't. Would you like to try another word, a different word? Mother. Better. Fascinating. Yeah, fascinating's very similar to interesting, isn't it? It is. It's a synonym. Yes, I know that. You said you wouldn't repeat words you've already said, and you basically answered interesting to every word I've given. No, I simply remarked that all your responses to my words had been interesting. Wait, who's responding to whose words? Well, you said you understood how this works. Well, you said... No, I said mother, and you responded better. Well, no, I was remarking that mother was a better response than interesting. Well, forgive me, but I thought that work had an interesting connection to summer. No, summer was your answer to home. No, home was your response to apples. Apples? What Where did apples come from? This was the word I started with. But you started... Mr. Klein, I thought I made it perfectly clear that I was conducting this test. <laughs> you were con You definitely did not make that clear. <laughs> For God's sake, you're getting angry. That's good. Get in touch with that anger, Mr. Phillips. Dr. Phillips, Mr. Klein. Dr. Klein. Stop that. Good, keep going. Become the thing that's angering you. Whatever it is that's frustrating you, if it had a voice, what would it say? What would it say? Okay, it would say, I think I'm a psychiatrist, but I'm not. Yeah. Furthermore, I, I seem to enjoy wasting the time and efforts of a real psychiatrist who wants nothing more than to help me. Finally, it makes sense. Oh, thank God. You've identified the one person who angers you most as yourself. This session is over. Uh, no, there's still 45 minutes to go. No, no, dear God, no, I can't. I'm sorry, I, can't. I just can't take another second. Well, that is up to you. I will have to charge you for the full hour. I'll get Donna to schedule a new appointment. I'm going to refer you to another doctor. Have you seen my glasses? Top pocket! Oh, that, that's the third time I've done it. Donna. Don't touch my phone. Oh, Donna. It's Linda. Oh, God, this again. I mean, put that phone I'm down. I'm talking to my secretary. This, yes, doctor, I can hear you. Oh, Donna, finally. That lunatic who keeps playing with the phones. Can you please have her removed from the waiting room? It's just me out here. Well, then get security to help you. This is no time to be a hero. All sorted. What sorted? Who do you think you were just talking to? My secretary. You don't have a secretary, Mr. Well, then Klein? who was I just talking to? My secretary. You don't have a secretary, Mr. Phillips. Okay, is that right? Hello? 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 Are you still hearing her? Linda? 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 My secretary's gone. Well, that's good. You're making progress. That's it. I'm calling security. Well, I believe they're already on their way. <laughs> Don't touch my phone. It's my phone. <laughs> Not your phone. Mr. Phillips, put that down. Should you? How oh, dare you? Down. You, you are the are worst sick patient. Man, I am just you're clearly showing signs to of clear signs of intermittent explosive disorder. That is just disorder. your narcissistic personality disorder talking. Stop projecting. Doctor. What's going on here? Well, right, I am just trying to treat this to my very office. sick, but it's my No, I'm not health. sick, and I, I am concerned a doctor. for his he's health and about what he might do to himself. Liar. And, and I, I want not God. a liar, just ask Donna. I'm Linda. I've never seen this woman before in my life. Well. Just take a seat and the doctor will be with you shortly. He's currently with another patient. I'm not the patient, I'm the secretary. I'm the secretary. 
No, I'm the secretary. You must be my tail. Oh, yo. Oh, thank God. Everything OK? Uh, it's been a bit of a confusing morning. The patient that we now know as the patient had to be removed from the building and the, the doc, the real doctor, is now with his 12 o'clock. So, um, everything is as it should be. Great. Thank you for covering. I'm Linda, by the way. Donna. I've never thought of it like that before. But you're right. I just have to start living the way I want to be treated. Because if you believe in something enough, it can become reality. Exactly. I'm sorry, excuse me. I told you to hold my calls, Linda. It's Donna. Who is this? I'm sorry. Go on. It's just so frustrating when people can't see what I think is the real me. Yes, it's infuriating. You know, the regular doctor here has always made me real crazy, but talking to you, I feel like we're the same. Thank you. So, what was your name again? Just call me doctor. <laughs>